I'm Dawn. Welcome to our API Docs. Since this is your first time here, I'm going to walk you through how to use our API. Sing is an API for connecting IoT devices. We connect to devices like Yale, like Schlage, like Nest. And today, I'm going to try to connect into this device right here. So first, I'm going to go to the console and click on this Add Devices button. Next, I'm going to select Yale, since I'll be connecting a Yale account. I'm going to be putting in the login credentials. It's going to ask me for a two-factor authentication method, which I'll click email. And then I'm going to wait for the two-factor authentication code from Yale. All right, the account has been paired. You'll now see that the devices has been loaded into our console. This is the lock that we'll be interacting with today. I'm gonna to copy the device ID. I'm also gonna be creating an API key. To do that, you can click on the Add API Key button and you can give it a name and copy the code. All right. I'm gonna to go to the terminal and take the API key that I've just exported and load it into the console. I will be using our Python SDK today. We also offer other SDKs like JavaScript and Ruby or PHP. All right, I've installed the same API library. I'm going to load up Python and import the same library. Next, I'm going to take the device ID I copied over and import the lock. You can see that the lock has been loaded and you can see all the different properties of this door lock. I'm going to try unlocking the store. All right, it's unlocked. I'm gonna lock it again. Next, I'm going to create an access code on the store lock. So what an access code is, is it's a pin code that will unlock, allow you to unlock the store lock. Usually our users like to add a start time and an end time to the access code. What this allows you to do is it will program the code at the start time and remove the code at the end time. So let's try out this code. 8888. Eight, eight. All right, let's unlock the lower lock. Awesome, so now you know how to use the SIEM API. Have a look at our docs. It's on docs.getseam.com. And let us know if you have any other questions.